In this video, I'm going to show you how to get control of the light shark so that it comes automated and live with your music triggered from a digital audio workstation or other MIDI source. The very first thing that we're going to do is load the MIDI template into our light shark. If you haven't, check out the other video that we have about using MIDI on the light shark. The MIDI template that I'm using for this video can be downloaded in the links below then be sure to import that template into your console. Then head to the menu, the main menu, into the MIDI and OSC tab, and load the template, Generic MIDI Playback Go. Perfect. Once that's loaded, you can then go ahead and plug in your MIDI interface if it's not already. In this example, I'm using a simple MIDI adapter on my computer as well as on the light shark to get the MIDI inside of it. These can be found online for a relatively inexpensive cost and simply bring the five pin MIDI into the USB of the light shark. Now I'll exit and be brought back to my palette screen where I've got a couple cue lists prepared. The first one has two cues on it and it runs in a loop. The second one has nine cues and it's meant to represent more of a full song. Now I'm gonna go over to Ableton Live. You could use any MIDI generating device. In fact, you could even save it to an offline MIDI player, but the principle's the same no matter what software you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new MIDI track, and I'm gonna set the output to my USB MIDI on my computer. So again, I'm going out USB MIDI through a five pin MIDI coupler to the Light Sharks USB MIDI. There's multiple ways to do this. This is just how I'm doing it for this particular example. Now that I've got this set up, I can go ahead and create a new MIDI clip to go along with my first track of music here in Ableton. With the template that I've shown you, we start all the way at the bottom of the MIDI notes at C negative two or MIDI note zero. Watch as I play a MIDI note here on the very first note zero. That kicks off the first song with a play button. Perfect. Now, that's nice if you have one cue for each of your songs, but what if you have multiple? Well, for example, this first song has two cues, so I can just go ahead and head into my song to wherever that second note is. Add another MIDI note where I want that cue. You probably saw when I clicked it, it fired because I have Ableton working live and then I'm able to trigger both those cues when I play my song back. Perfect. Now your song, of course, could use multiple playbacks and could um, even do fader moves and all kinds of other stuff via Ableton. This, we're just scratching the surface here. So I could, for example, create a second clip that triggers not only the first one cue list that we did, but then a couple measures later, triggers the second cue list. In fact, in this MIDI template, there are all 30 playbacks on the Light Shark available. And the MIDI device will control the play button on each playback. So the possibilities are really endless as to how you could set your show up. Now watch as I press play on the second MIDI clip. You can see now that I'm firing the cues on both the first and second cue list along with my music. So you can see how this can work for a traditional band setup where you're playing songs, perhaps with some backing tracks, or with a DJ style setup where you have different clips of MIDI assigned to your different sounds that you then combine live and on the fly and the lights just play along right with it. I hope you've enjoyed this and if you have, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube to our channel because we've got more examples, how to's, and great stuff coming for you about the Light Shark. Thanks.